how do I, I mean, I get what you're saying, but how do I not forget the teachings? Well, forgetting is about inactivity. In other words, the answer to the question is you forget what's not active. In other words, if you can forget something that's meaningful, then you could certainly forget something that's not helpful. So you could say, I'm really good at forgetting. It's just a matter of what your attention is turned upon. In other words, in this physical world, it is really logical that you would give a lot of your attention to what's going on around you. And when you're giving your attention to what's going on around you, you're sort of forgetting who you really are. In other words, if you're living financial shortage and it's vivid and the bills are coming in and people are hounding you and you're uncomfortable about it, it's easy to keep that active and it's easy to forget prosperity under those conditions because you can't live prosperity and lack of it at the same time, you see. So let's give a definition to forgetting and remembering. Let's call it what it really is. It's an active vibration or an inactive vibration. Esther has been noticing a new what she is calling a phenomenon in her own experience where she'll be almost ready to move down an unnecessarily unpleasant path thought wise and the thought will go right out of her head it's as if another vibration just took over and kept that one from coming in other words she forgot it it's all about focus and we know in this situation you're wondering why you could forget something that is beneficial but it's all about focus if you've got not enough money active in your vibration then you are essentially forgetting how to be prosperous if you're focused upon someone who's having a really hard time in a relationship then you are for the time that you're focused there you are forgetting about how to have a really good relationship you cannot watch your television today without forgetting most of the well-being that you know your television is a veritable wasteland there's not much well-being going on on your television it's mostly stuff that if you watch it it will cause you to forget the well-being that is abundant and yet you have this planet spinning in its orbit that is completely observable impossible to forget and a Sun that comes around every day to warm your planet every single day and yet you can get so immersed in crap <laughs> there's just so much that you can focus upon that causes you not to remember so we think this is a really good conversation what is it that you want to remember I want to remember that I live in a vibrational universe and I want to remember that I'm vibrational I want to remember that I'm worthy and how are you going to remember it what is remembering you see your brain is not a storage cabinet it's not like a file cabinet where you're putting things it's a transmitting and receiving mechanism and when you're on a frequency that's what you're remembering and law of attraction will compound it and help you to remember it more and more and more and more and more and that really is what we mean by getting out ahead of it vibrationally I'm the creator of my own reality which means I'm the offer of my vibration which means I get to choose the thoughts I think and there are so many things to look at that I would like to amplify and these are the things that I would like to talk about if you would treat every day like a buffet and start in a general sense in other words divide your world your personal world into four categories call it my body call it my work call it my relationships call it my house or my dwelling and then as you define each of those categories ask yourself what do I want to see relative to this what is the best thing about my house it's warmth it's a haven for me it's a place that I get to go it's a place where space that's carved out for me it's a place where I can have privacy It's a place where I get to be it's a place where I get to bring my things in other words these are the positive aspects of of my house my body my body this vessel that lets me translate this physical experience into something that is tactile this body that moves me around I am more efficient than any machine I have more flexibility and more resiliency my genius brilliant magnificent body my relationships identify the positive aspects of them these people are so much fun 
these people are so nice to be with these people have created this environment these people are managing this environment these people are making the beds and cooking the food and fixing the highways these people so many people to appreciate so much in your world to activate and to keep active and to remember and so much of your world that really isn't worth keeping activated it served its purpose it showed you what you wanted the step oneness of it is now done it's no longer of advantage to you you see you are the creator of your own reality the world is responding to you everyone that you interact with is a co-creator in the vibration that you've got going on and there are no mistakes ever 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 there's never a vibrational mismatch law of attraction is definite and kind and consistent do you want to create life by default or do you want to be a deliberate creator do you believe that there is fun in deliberate creation Absolutely. we want to say to you it's where the only fun is because when stuff comes that you have not identified and acknowledged as something that you desire and then work to achieve vibrational alignment with when it comes you don't even notice it because it's not on your radar but when you have deliberately identified something that you want honed it out of the absence of it maybe even and you have found a way to focus even in the absence of the manifestation of it by focusing upon the feeling of it by the why of it not the how or the where or the who or the when but the why of it why why do I want this then as it begins filling into your grid then you're excited about it you see we see you excited over a parking place and you should be because it is as easy to create a castle as a button it just depends on what's in your line of focus and what you're allowing do you believe that you can create buttons do you believe that you can create castles do you believe that you can create buttons you believe that buttons are important to create does everything have to be bouncing off the wall enthusiasm is there power in satisfaction do you like molding the clay of your mind deliberately do you think that you need to think more or rest more do you think that you need to try harder or try less do you associate trying with action or thinking do you need to try to think better thoughts do you need to try to think better thoughts or do you need to relax into better thoughts will the better thought come in the relaxation do you think that you get more done with your long list of things you need to do or do you get more done by allowing yourself more leeway if we were standing in your physical shoes we would we would decide to be lazy we would decide to be lazy for a little while because in your giving yourself permission to be lazy you're giving yourself permission to allow your grid to fill in with everything that you've already chosen and put into your vortex the word lazy has an unpleasant connotation doesn't it because it's humans measuring themselves against other humans based upon a flaw pre flawed premise and the flawed premise is the more you do the more you're worth and that is the most flawed of all flawed premises I'd like to give you the premise that is at the basis of your universe the better you feel the more you allow you could not be more deserving you came as deserving beings into this time space reality with powerful and clear intent you've been mixing it up with others and defining what's important not only to you personally but important to you on behalf of others you've included in your vortex a desire for the well-being of far more than your personal self but it is necessary for you to tend to the well-being of your personal self in order to be a productive advocate for the well-being for anyone else in other words you cannot give or you cannot extend or you cannot punctuate or you cannot accentuate you cannot assist anything that you are not already feeling which means if you are wanting in an altruistic way to be an advantage to everyone you know you first have got to find a way to be of advantage to yourself which means you want to carve out more time to be nicer to yourself more private time 
more time under the bridge more time where others are not telling you what to do more time when you are satisfying your own personal intention for things if we were standing in your physical shoes and someone were to ask you to do something we would stop in the middle of the request and we would evaluate it with completely and we would say to them I sincerely desire to accomplish this request that you are offering and it is my expectation that I will be able to do that since I am in this relationship with you and you are requesting it of me employer or mate or parent or child or whoever it is it is my expectation that I will be able to accomplish this I just have to insert one thing in the foreground of this request I will accomplish it for you as long as I can first accomplish ease for myself in the process Esther on one of the earlier cruises made sure that everyone received an easy button from Staples everyone got one and Esther found a box of them in the attic the other day and she spread them all around her house because she wants to amplify the ease of things she wants to no longer justify the well-being that flows to her by pointing out how hard she's working in relationship to others she wants to emphasize the well-being that's flowing to her by remembering the vibrational alignment that she is achieving if we were standing in your physical shoes we would do these things every day and then anything else that you have time for we would meditate for 15 minutes every day which means we would quiet our mind with the simple intention of allowing our cork to float we would go outside no matter what the weather and we'd move around in it in appreciation of this planet we would look up and around and we would find things to acknowledge and we would talk about them right out loud Esther walks through her gardens and says to everything you are my favorite 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 stone on the pathway you are my favorite bird in the tree you are my favorite flower in bloom you are my favorite flower not in bloom you are my favorite tree you are my favorite bush you are my favorite frog you are my favorite frog you kept me awake all night but you are still my favorite frog in other words so first thing meditate second thing spend more time outside third thing we would buy a notebook we would call it my book of positive aspects and we would fill at least three four five is even better pages of positive aspects five different subjects and write the positive aspects of it training your vibration into that upward place and then there is one last thing that if we were standing in your physical shoes we would do every single day we would look upward and outward it's best if you do it outside or standing at a window and we would acknowledge that there are universal forces that are focused right at you we would acknowledge by calling it by name if you have a name that you like and we would say I acknowledge that I am the object of your positive attention and I'm appreciating your continual gaze on behalf of my well-being and today no matter where I am no matter where I am going no matter what I am doing and no matter who I am doing it with I will be in conscious awareness that you too are there with me appreciating me supporting me assisting me acknowledging me inspiring me guiding me having fun with me acknowledging me supporting me assisting me inspiring me helping me guiding me aware of me loving me showing me inspiring me guiding me helping me uplifting me showing me get into an endless loop of that acknowledgement and watch what begins to happen in your life as soon as this day your vortex is filled to the brim with specific requests that you have put there and that you are deserving of the realization of and it's time for those realizations to be flooding into your experience 
at a rate that will astonish those who surround you it's time for you to remember what you've put there and to bring it forward active into your today experience